Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today I'm going to be doing some graphic style colouring using these beautiful new colours from Altenew. This is their newest artist marker release and I've been really, really excited about this one because it has my absolute most favourite colours from Altenew. It's got the oranges and the lime greens or the tropical greens. So I was really, oh, and the greys. I nearly forgot it's got the greys. <laughs> And I was so excited to see these colors and I know you're going to love them. And da -da -da, here is their colorless blender. I've had so many people asking me how can I get my colors lighter and fix my blending. And, and, and now they've got their own colorless blender and it works just as well as any other colorless blender I've tried. So I'm pretty excited to share my video today. I have... One of them, it's a pretty new release from them. It's the Build a Flower Poppy Set. And what I'm doing here is I'm using one of the dies and I'm cutting multiple masks at the same time. This is just being lazy. You could easily stamp out the image and just fussy cut the masks, but I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> so just by running them all through my little mini blossom die cutting machine all at once, I got three masks simultaneously. Now these masks they're not perfect because they're a die they will actually cut slightly larger than the actual images but that's easily fixed if you just use like a copic multi-liner or um, a pen that's compatible like a black pen if you're using black ink that's compatible with uh, alcohol markers okay so i have a piece of cardstock it's larger than what i need because I wasn't sure where I was kind of going with this. I knew that I wanted to create like a bed of flowers. I thought that would look really dramatic with this coloring technique. And I've brought in a leaf from the Pretty Pansies set because I wanted a broader, more, like a, a solid image as opposed to one of the thin leaves. All right. So my ink pad was dry. <laughs> you may have noticed while I was coloring, it was a bit bad. The stamping was pretty bad, but I just came in with my multi-liner and redrew over the lines and that seemed to work well. Now looking back now, I wonder why I just didn't fill the ink pad at the time, but I think, you know, when I get when I get making the videos, I get so focused on what I'm doing that I don't think of the logical sometimes. So please excuse me today <laughs> if I didn't think of the logical. No, no, I'd rather spend five minutes redrawing over the lines. It's obviously a lot more fun than just stamping them. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so this is a really simple technique and I was inspired by my good friend Ardith and I will link her blog at my blog to the post where she inspired me and her cards are amazing and she's such an inspiration so thank you Ardith I have been hanging out to try this technique because it's so simple there's absolutely no shading I'm only doing one color and on a couple of the images I did come back and add the same color again just to get a more blended and even look I'm not coloring all the way to the edge of the petals or of the leaves because I want that little bit of a white highlight to make it look a little bit messy and a little bit more graphic. And looking back now, I possibly could have left a little bit more white in my flowers and on my leaves. And maybe I might try that next time. So I'm going to just quickly speed this up now. This is part of a blog hop for Altenew because this is a release of the Artist Markers set E, my favorite set now, <laughs> and also some embellishments. So there's some really cool embell embellishments being released, including, I'll get to this in a moment, some great scrapbooking supplies. And I have um, all of the other blogs linked at my blog. And you will also have a chance to win if you visit my blog and leave a comment there. And I'll put that link in the description below. All right, so the colors I used here are, it was Sunkissed, Firebrick, and this green, I'm pretty sure it's the parrot one. 
and then I came in with the silver stone and industrial diamond in the center of the flowers I thought it would also be fun to add some color behind my sentiment because I'm going to stamp it in some permanent black ink and I just grabbed the silver stone marker and just drew some rough lines on a piece of white cardstock and stamped my sentiment over that and when I cut it out I didn't cut it out neatly I cut it so some of the white edges were showing my panel I have now cut down to the same size as my card front and by doing it on a big piece of cardstock it meant that I had options about where I wanted my flowers to sit or how many I wanted to add and then I can just pop up my sentiment so it's almost a one layer card and obviously you could see the alcohol markers through the cardstock and I didn't want that that's why I've added that to the front of the card and didn't stamp directly on there and here's the other exciting part of this release it's the enamel dots and there's sheets of whole sheets of color <laughs> whole sheets and this is the green fields one so it's like the um what's the green it might not be green fields i'm not sure but anyway it's the greens and it has all the greens and the black which i love so now i'm in my happy place <laughs> thanks so much for joining me today if you like this video please like it if you haven't already i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel till next time happy paper crafting bye